Welcome to Taipei City, a haven for both shopaholics and food enthusiasts. Today we are going to explore Ximenting, the largest shopping street in Taiwan. As the day unfolds, we'll head to Chifeng Street, another shopping district located in Zhongshan. It's famous for its vintage charm and an array of thrift shops. It's a treasure for those who are looking for unique finds. But our journey doesn't stop there. We'll wrap up the night on a hidden street that resembles a mini Japanese town. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And right now we're at Taipei Ximenting. Today is a Tuesday on a weekday and it's packed here. A lot of people are here. And if you guys don't know, Ximenting is the biggest walking district in Taiwan. And we're going to check out some shops here, eat some delicious Taiwanese food, and also drink boba tea. The, there's Xingfu Tang right there. There's a big line, but because I've stayed in Taiwan for a while, for me, Xingfu Tang is not the best. We're going to try something even better. I'm一个我要一杯乌龙奶牛奶的是吧牛奶的好了我要维糖可以一份糖吗一份糖维冰然后我要加那个鱼头鱼圆对三千五一号 I always order oolong latte, which is oolong latte, oolong with fresh milk. It's my favorite drink. Super cute. It's 890 NT. 1150. It's not bad actually. Let's try. So big. fourth floor of the Uniqlo and this is the special they write it here's the special floor there's so many the cute very cute t-shirts the character t-shirts they sell it here so if you love them and I also heard they sell a lot of the limited edition ones here this one is I'm sure this is Naruto's friend Grandfather Cherry. 
They sell Taiwanese souvenirs, so if you want to buy gifts for your friends and family, you can buy here. Everything is buy five, get one free. And if I can recommend you one thing, it'll be this. It's a cranberry nougat. I love this. I even bought this a lot to just eat at home. It's very addicting, so be careful. Trying the famous Achung flour rice noodles. How much is this? For small is 60. 60? Yeah, and for big is 75. Okay, and this is 60? Yeah, it's 60, small one. This is the small portion for 60 NT, and it's a thin noodle, and for me, it smells a little bit fishy, and the soup is quite thick, but it's clear. Let's try. It's a bit salty and the store there's always a line here but don't worry it's very fast they serve like so quickly and everyone that comes to see Manting for the first time will always try this highly recommend it It's a brand new store, so I'd say it's a gacha. You can buy like small miniatures and you don't know what's inside. So there's a whole collection of the Casper here and inside is random. So a lot of people try to collect everything. Super expensive, each one is 330 NT. So if you want to collect everything, it's a bit of a gambling situation. the conjuring collection and it's super cute look the follow up one is like so cute which one should we choose guys i hope we got okay i'm feeling like this one no no no, no. this one this one let's see i really hope it's either the annabelle or Falak. okay i'm going to destroy this Please be Fal or Annabelle, two of them. It's not. A bit disappointed. It's the priest. I don't even know which priest. Probably it will protect me from some evil or something. If you're traveling by metro, Siemens station is right in front of the shopping street. It's exit 6 guys, so remember that. Siemens MRT exit 6 will take you directly to shopping district. I'm going to buy some souvenirs. Next week we're going to Japan. Stay tuned for Japan content guys and we're going to bring some stuff for our lovely friends in Japan. We shop for souvenirs here. They give you lots of lots of testers. So we're going to try. We see this is the the most popular one, the pineapple cake. Hmm? We bought some milk sun cake. 
just Taiyang Ping. I really recommend the one at Figur Kobo. For me, it's one of the best one and they put it at a pretty pretty box so you can give it to your friends and family if you're giving them some souvenirs. right across the shopping district and there's inside is more and more souvenirs And now we're going to Chongsan area and we're going to check in at our hotel there to put our stuff there and also rest for a bit because it's a bit tiring to walk for the whole day. We just checked into our hotel. The room is okay. It's not too small, which is a lot of hotels in Taipei are really, really small. Little tip for you, if you're looking for a place to stay in Taipei, make sure they're either at Chongsan or Ximenting or Shini District because these are the top three areas that has a lot of attractions, a lot of shops nearby, and they're very accessible. And today we're staying at Orange Hotel at Linsen Branch. This one is at Chongsan which is a vibrant street full of shops and very cute cafes and food. We will explore that later tonight. I also noticed that Orange Hotel has a lot of branches in Taipei, including Ximenting. I will link them below so you can see. And we're going to rest for a bit before we continue our journey. See you! We're walking over to Chifeng Street and it's only 10 minutes away from Orange Hotel. Pretty good location. There's an MRT here, it's the Chongsan MRT Exit 4. So this street is famous for its shops. There's a couple of malls here and also so many shops. Not a lot of people know about this street. Most people just go to Ximenting, like the one we went before or Xin'i District. This is still a good gem for you to go. thrift shops in Jongsan area and this one is called All You Can Eat. I don't know why but let's check it out. $2,900 NT for this vintage jacket. Not sure if it's worth it. Monster here. K Monster is a K pop store where they sell all the merchandise for of your favorite K pop artists. It's very popular these days. They have all the light sticks there. It's black pinks.
eating at this Taiwanese stir fry restaurant. If you guys don't know, Asian people like to share. So we're ordering a bunch of stir fry, and the rice here is free flow. So we just take the rice and then put everything in the middle and eat whatever you want to take. And this is very common in Taiwan. Also, you get a beer drink, but we're not drinking tonight. But usually, people come here after work and they order beer and then they drink. We have we ordered so many things. This is a must order at a stir fry restaurant. It's the, it's the kung pao chicken, and then this is a fried shrimp with mayo and then pineapples and some sprinkles. So it's very weird combination, but it's really good. Some more shrimp just came, mapo tofu, veggies, and then this is fish. This is egg. This calamari, fried calamari with some so mala sauce. So very excited because we're all super super hungry. We have some friends. Staying at Orange Hotel Linson, you'll get a photo of 30 minutes foot massage for free here. And we're going to end our night here. Right now, we're soaking our legs in the hot water. This is so perfect after a very long day of traveling. The massage places in Taiwan is a bit different. The lights are all on and they put on TV right in front of you. It's so different than the ones in Thailand or Bali where they dim the lights and every, everything smells like aromatherapy. It's different. We are done with our massage and it was pretty good and everyone there is was very friendly to us so we really enjoyed the time and now we're walking at this alley it's very close to the orange hotel it's kind of like a Japanese alley because everything here is, is weirdly in Japanese and there's so many izakaya here so if you're looking to hang out with your friends or just to extend the night you can spend it here To our hotel room and I realized I didn't bring any makeup remover but thankfully there's Watson right beside the hotel so I got mine and yeah that's all for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoy it and please let me know down below if you want to see any places in Taiwan and I'll probably be here around another year or so so I can explore that for you and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more travels around Asia See you in the next video!